quite a game, but before we get into the game, just want to address yesterday's press conference and my response to the Brandon Miller question. I'm not here to make excuses, but I want to make it clear that I didn't have the details from the hearing that morning since I was coming straight from practice. And I used a poor choice of words, making it appear like I wasn't taking this tragic situation seriously, which we have throughout the course of it. I sincerely apologize for that. I know Greg shared some information earlier today on the situation. I don't really have anything more to add other than what he's already said. So start on Zoom with Nick Kelly. Yeah, Nate, what led the or come the decision for Brandon to play today? Well, as Greg said earlier, you know, we make decisions based on available facts, and that's what we did here. Any questions in person? Nate, going through something like Brandon has the last day or two, you know, he's a young guy, might have really kind of wrecked him a little bit. He, his resolve out there really seems strong, no matter what. Is that the kind of guy he is? Yeah, he's one of the most mentally tough kids I've ever coached. So, not surprised. I mean, 41 points, you don't want to say you expect that, but not surprised he came ready to play and play well tonight. Charlie Potter on Zoom. Yeah, Coach, um, you talk about Brandon, but for the other guys, how much of a distraction maybe was all this for them? And did you see that maybe affect them in their play? It's hard to say. We've been in, you know, the Vanderbilt game came after that. It, it, it may have been. I mean, if I want to make an excuse for him, we can use it. But I'm not really a guy that makes too many excuses. We got to play better. Some of those other guys didn't play up to their typical performance. So, you know, I'm not I'm not sure it, it obviously could have been a distraction, but you know, Brandon showed up, played pretty well. So I, I think, you know, it may have just been coincidental. I don't know. We'll, we'll hopefully we play a lot better Saturday. We need everybody to play a little bit better Saturday for us. Austin. Yeah, coach. I mean, just amidst everything that's kind of gone on the last couple of days, what what did it mean for you to see your team and Miller and his teammates to kind of grit this one out on the road? I mean, it was big. We, it was the one we couldn't afford to drop, and South Carolina came ready to play. I mean, they were making tough shots. Shoot that three at the end of the half turned out to be a big, pretty big three in an overtime game. I mean, they did a lot of things right. You know, we didn't play well. So I told our guys, I was proud of them. Sometimes you shoot it poorly. You know, we didn't make three throws at a normal clip. We didn't shoot the ball from three at a decent clip. You know, I think – Outside of Brandon, and everybody else was one for 14. You know, we, we didn't do a lot of things well and still figured out a way to beat a, a pretty talented team, you know, and, they, and they, they played well tonight. So on the road, it's not easy to do. So give our guys a lot of credit. You know, we all rebounded them by 13, and we made some tough plays and got some tough stops down the stretch. So proud of our guys in that, in that regard for sure. Two more, Foley. Uh, Coach Brandon, sir. Brandon certainly able to have a night like that tonight, but with the game kind of sitting there, everything else going on, uh, what was different in the way you spoke before the game? And even when did you recognize that he kind of had that instant game kind of like? I mean, kind of go back to the Vandy game, which is a comparison to this one a little bit. I thought he came ready to play then. I mean, out of the gate, I mean, he now there hasn't been many games he hasn't been locked in, to be honest with you, but you just you know, basketball kind of becomes a safe haven a little bit for some of these guys. They get on the floor, they can kind of lock into what they've done their whole lives and, you know, put some of the uh, outside stuff that's out of their mind. So I, I thought Brandon did a great job really getting himself mentally prepared to play. And Judy was really aggressive tonight. I mean, we needed him to be aggressive. You know, we had a lot of our other guys that have been scoring ball well for us. I mean, shoot, we scored 70, 78 points. We only had two guys in double figures. It's not typical for this team. You know, we usually have pretty balanced scoring outside of that. You know, Sears has been good for us. Jane Bradley's been good. Kwame's been good. Amari's been shooting the ball pretty well. You know, he didn't, couldn't make a shot tonight. So 
you know, Brandon needed to be aggressive. He was, I thought, I thought you could tell early on he was trying to be extra aggressive. I mean, there was, wasn't like he was, and they were doing a pretty good job defending them too. And they put all kinds of different matchups on them. I mean, at the end, they had Michi Johnson on them. They tried to go small. I thought Brandon did a good job attacking downhill, getting to the rim on that stuff. Last one, Mike. You mentioned the, the Vandy game as a parallel. Just how much did that experience help you in, in dealing with this? And how much did it alter your preparations the last 24 hours and perhaps your messaging as well to your team? Yeah, I mean, we referenced it a little bit. So we've been in tough situations with things that can be a distraction. And let's focus in. We I thought we played pretty well at Vandy. Let's come out and do it again. You know, and I again it, maybe it's just coincidental that some of these guys struggled. I don't know. You know, I don't want to make excuses for anybody struggling. We just we got to play better on Saturday. But we yeah, we we referenced it a little bit, not a whole lot. I mean to be honest with you, our main focus was on the scout. I mean try we tried to keep things as normal as possible. The South Carolina scout was our main focus, you know, on 95% of what we spent time with the team on. And you know, I thought I thought we prepared the guys well. They we just they did a good job. We didn't make shots. It's you're gonna have some of those nights. You don't shoot the ball well, the opponent. I mean, they shot 43% from three and they made some tough ones. They made a half court shot, they made in the buzzer shot, in the shot clock shots. I mean, they, they made some real tough threes. We had some wide open looks and, and missed them. So it's gonna happen like that. And for your team to still figure out how to get a win, I think it shows a ton of character about you guys. And I was proud of how, how they performed tonight. Thanks, Coach. Sorry, right, thanks. Appreciate you guys.